Hey guys, how we doing today? Uh, this is Aaron. Today we're taking a quick look at how you can load VSTs and VST3 plugins uh, inside a DAW that normally doesn't support them. So in this case, Logic Pro, right, which is an Apple product. Uh, it only supports audio units because that's the Apple standard. They don't want to play nice with VST and VST3, so, uh, so they don't load that. But there's a way around it, which is to use a plugin called Universal Plug, um, which is a very lightweight, you can think of it as a translator, basically. It's a very lightweight plugin that can load other plugins, right? And it can load uh, VST, VST3, audio unit, um, and it itself can be loaded as VST, VST3, audio unit 2, audio unit 3, or AAX plugin, right? So uh, high Pro Tools people, for you, you can load it as an AAX plugin because Pro Tools also doesn't play nice with the rest of the industry. You can load uh, this plugin and then load your VSTs and VST3s right inside um, right inside Pro Tools. But that's, that's another video. Today we're just gonna look at Logic, um, both uh, loading instruments and loading effects, but you know, we'll get to it. Uh, okay, so here we are in Logic Pro. Uh, and we're going to load, let's do first an effect and then a plugin and just quickly show you how it works, walk you through the process. It should be noted that there are, so universal plug, when you get it, it comes as two plugins. There's universal plugin and universal instrument. Uh, the difference there should be fairly obvious. One of these plugins presents as an instrument plugin. One of them presents as an effects plugin. Now you can actually load within it. You'll be able to load uh, instruments in the effect plugin and, and vice versa. Uh, and because the effects also accept incoming MIDI, you can do a lot of interesting things with that, but um, we're not going to get into that right now. Uh, so here we are in Logic. Here's the uh, instrument slot. I'm going to go down. Uh, you'll notice uh, it does allow MIDI controlled effects. So here's what I was talking about. You can load it uh, as an effect in that slot, but we're going to load as an instrument, Stagecraft Software, uh, Universal Instrument. Once it comes up, this is our registration screen. Uh, like everything on the website, you can use it free for 30 days, and it's it's pretty low price after that. Pretty simple to use because uh, once you get through that, you'll notice there's only one button, so it's kind of guiding us where we need to be. You click the load button, and there's a manage plugins here. Uh, let me reset this. Now. I put a bomb in here uh, on purpose because I want to show you guys what happens when it crashes. So I, one of my plugins, I took it and I put in an illegal action. So it's going to crash. There it is. Audio unit plugin reported a problem, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's, can you recover? If I hit recover, yeah, okay, good. It doesn't crash. It just does that. Uh, and now when we come back, the interesting thing is that it's smart enough to have noted that my plugin disarray was made to crash the uh, scan, but the scan continued. The scan had a number of things that it had already found, so those are already here. And if we run another scan, it will skip this plugin, uh, and you know, not until I delete it, it won't try to scan that plugin again. So even if you have a lot of plugins that are causing problems, even if you have ones that for whatever reason aren't totally supported uh, by universal plugin, uh, you, you should still be able to use it. You just may have to, if it crashes on a scan, you know, start it up again and rescan. In fact, I'm going to do that right now, Let's scan the rest of them, and then it'll give you a message that says, hey, here's a couple that didn't work out. Uh, just for thoroughness, let's scan some audio units as well. It takes a little longer. Uh, there you go. It's a pretty good selection of plugins. Okay, so we're going to close that. Now, where was an instrument? So we're going to load. Let's load an instrument. Let's load this one. Um, Oh, hey, <laughs> there it is. Uh, all the parameters laid out here. Are these mappable? These are mappable. So I can change uh, what parameters these knobs point to. And then I can also open the UI for the loaded plugin. So here we are running uh, Helm as a VST3 inside uh, Logic Pro. All right. Okay, so let's look at the effects now. Not much different, but similar. Let's go down here to, uh, okay. Plug-in, audio unit, stagecraft, universal plug. Let's do stereo, not today. Yeah, and let's pick an effect like, um, 
guess I'll just do one of mine. This is disarray. There's my plugin. Close that, and I'm going to need some audio. So give me one second. Desktop music, test audio, BB King. Okay, let's go, BB. Okay, there's BB King. Go back to this, and let's get our effect plugin. Fully functional uh, loading a VST inside Logic Pro, and you can see it's routing the audio, it's routing uh, the parameters, uh, the MIDI. You can also, you know, you should be able to automate the parameters and everything else. So you should use it just like you would use any other plugin. So this really does let you load uh, plugins that wouldn't otherwise be available to you. So that's it. Enjoy. I'm gonna let BB play us out. <laughs> when I was a young man, just starting out. I didn't know what the love was 